Hi everyone. This is going to be my very first exposure to Van Halen. Vlad tells me that it's another heavy metal band. I guess I've been into the heavy metal side a little bit lately and um, we'll be going on to something else after this. But this song that I'm doing today is called Mean Street. We chose to do this now just especially because this is Van Halen's anniversary of his death two years ago. And I don't know anything about Van Halen yet. I haven't gone into my research or anything. I'm coming to it blind as I often do. But I do know from what Vlad has told me and what I've read on in the comments and, and on the channel that Van Halen is highly regarded and very special to many of you. And I want to do something special on this date. So I am listening for the first time to Van Halen's Mean Street. Let's see how it goes. That truly startled me. <laughs> um, right, I was, I was here trying to sort out the rhythms and the sounds and then out of nowhere. <laughs> Let me back up just a little bit. Let's try this again. A dynamic opening to a piece of music. This, uh, from the very first, it has this rhythmic energy that it's almost nervous. Maybe nervous isn't the right word, but it's it's bordering on nervous. And um, just just when you begin to settle into a groove and feel like, okay, now we're settling into something. Then the next layer comes tumbling in on top. And really, truly, when that percussion started, those drums, I, I was so startled. It sounded like rocks were falling down on my head or something. <laughs> um, this is, this is a bit different than um, I guess definitely different than, than the other two heavy metal pieces I've listened to. Both the King Diamond. Oh wait, there are three. Because the first one I listened to was Metallica. That was one of my very first songs that I listened to. And then a bit later was King Diamond. And then I went back and started with um, Black Sabbath, which was the to kind of set the context and help me figure out where this is all coming from. And now here comes this, and it sounds even different. I can hear it's still heavy. And maybe you remember in my, when I first introduced the channel, I was talking about how 
I had this concept that that rock music is industrial. Remember, I made the comment about I thought it was just sounding like factory noises and stuff. Well, I can hear a lot of those factory noises in these heavy metal pieces. So maybe that's where I got that concept from by he overhearing some heavy metal music in, I don't know where, where I heard those little sound bites, but, but that may be why I had that concept. Obviously I've learned that rock is far more than just heavy metal, but it's also interesting to dive a bit into this world of heavy metal and see the differences and how this how these sounds which from a distance from a very uneducated uninitiated distance sound like just a bunch of factory noise now i'm hearing differences between every single one and of course i haven't listened to more than one song from each band so i don't know what the differences are within a band's opus but I can certainly tell that each band has its own unique sound and quality. Anyway, let me get back to this. Um, I just had to kind of regroup after that opening. I'll back up a little bit and we'll see what comes next. <laughs> the different content of this song as well because two of the two of the songs I listened to were rather um, interested in death and the devil and and I don't remember exactly the lyrics to Metallica oh it was just this for all and so that was Maybe if I were going to categorize what I've heard, this could pair with Justice for All better than it would pair with the others. Because it seems to be a commentary, or in this case, not a commentary, but a, a picture of life in a certain place, um, at a certain level, in a certain world essentially which is very real and very certainly exists in many people's experiences the first verse sounds a bit like a sort of belligerent teenager um dissatisfied but kind of resigned to his place his world his life and when it got to this is home and then the only one I know, I was struck by how eloquent that is in its expressing what that life really looks like to somebody there. Let's go on. And we don't really back to my blow, cause we're sick of these small walls. Now what you think is
okay, that must be the guitar solo. And I stopped it because I will start there. But I wanted to say the impressions I'm getting up until this point. Um, how do I describe this? It's, it's, it is a nervous energy, like a, like a constant awareness of being aware of your surroundings and you can't quite settle and relax, even if this is your home. And there's always a little bit of an edge, a little bit of hostility to it, a little bit of danger around the corner. Um, it's also interesting hearing the instrumentals and I'm paying close attention now. It's not, it's not me overhearing it off in the distance. And I can hear what some of you have told me that this is very much like, in some ways, to some classical music. There are, there are rhythms and um, semi-orchestral sounds coming from the instruments that I could describe as being similar to, let's say, some Vivaldi high energy, you know, allegro or something like that. Different sound qualities, but there is that sort of Baroque feeling to it in some ways. And I find that fascinating. All right, I will back up to the beginning of the guitar solo. And I'm going to see if I make it all the way through without stopping. Take what's mine We're searching for the latest thing A break in this routine Talking some new kicks What's like you ain't never seen This is home This is Heat Street It's our home Only when I know Now, hold on, hold on. That was interesting. Okay, I am noticing and appreciating how in this song, the drummer and the guitarists seem to be working very tightly together for the rhythmic effect. Sometimes they're doing different things, sometimes they're doing the same things, but it seems to be a very, very um, tightly woven bit of teamwork going on here and I enjoy that it it feels like a really a really good ensemble is what I'm saying I notice how well together they are and how how they're working to create this sound and this rhythm and this energy. It also sounds a bit like almost it's almost turning into a a hunt, a a pursuit of something. I didn't catch that at the beginning. Maybe something has changed along the way or maybe I'm just settling into it, but I now feel like it's not just nervous and looking around. I feel like it's a bit of a pursuit. But then this happened where we started layering the chorus with the next verse and the sound changed. So let me hear this again. See a gun is real easy in this desperate part of town. Turns you from hunted into hunter You go and hunt somebody down
wow. Okay, I listened all the way to the end, and I want to go back and listen to that um, final section again. But I wanted to hear, because I that final verse chorus stacking was very special in a way and I wanted to hear how it progressed into what came after and how it wrapped up. Let me go back and listen to that final part after the verse chorus stacking. Strike that poor boy down. That's quite a strike. Here comes. Here comes. This whole thing has the feeling of happening so quickly and so much going on. It's going to take me a little bit to, a few more lessons to really start to unravel all the different parts because there's a lot to keep track of all at once. I guess I appreciate and I enjoy this transition right here where it shifts into that um, chorus of this is home and then layered on top of it is the last verse that we hear and I'm not sure I can articulate all the reasons that I feel like it is very special and eloquent right now but I do think that it does something to set this this idea of home, which feels very warm and friendly. Right there. Kind of in harmony. Everything is as it should be. And then on top of that is this last verse, which is really a... <laughs> well, it's so interesting, I was saying in the previous verse, it started sounding like a hunt. And then I realized the last verse is talking about turning into a hunter rather than the hunted. Um, that's also interesting. So much stacked on top of the other, which is unlike the the, the sound and the message of these bands are also new to me. I can never remember which name is which for a minute. I have to think hard. Okay, it was Black Sabbath. The sound and message of Black Sabbath was much more direct and focused and um, one track. Whereas here, we hear different ideas being brought in and different layers being brought in in a very dynamic way. And it's fascinating to me to notice those differences within the heavy metal genre. So let me just listen to this final chorus and verse again. I won't go all the way to the end, but I want to hear it one more time. This is home. See, a gun is real easy this is in this desperate part of town. 
turns you from hunted into hunter. You're going hunt somebody down. Wait a minute, yeah. Somebody said. And there's that horn sound in there too, which I didn't expect to come into this kind of music, which is so aggressive and so dominating. And the instruments, I've heard mostly just guitar and, and drums and voice, right? But they added this horn in this part of the chorus to mellow it a bit. And on top of that is this voice, which is no longer even singing. He's, he's um, speaking, declaring. And it's such a, it's good. You're going hunt somebody down. And then it's back into the the driving part again. Very interesting. Um, I guess I'm glad I listened to it now. While the other is fresh in my mind still, I think it helped me to kind of compare some things. Although I want to also take this... I'm not just trying to pit one against the other and compare between. I'm trying to take each one on its own merits in its own way and take it for what it is. But at the same time, I'm putting these connections together and noticing these different developments and, and changes. In terms of Van Halen, the artist, the band, again, I don't know enough yet to know whether Eddie Van Halen even wrote this piece or was it somebody else in the band? But I assume that he had a pretty big part because he's the guitarist and he, the band is named after him. And so this name is so ubiquitous with, with the sound. I assume that he had, he was probably one of the drivers and, and brains and artists responsible for this and I do appreciate the mastery of what I'm hearing in here. I don't know enough yet of all the rock guitarists and and metal guitarists and so forth to be able to say he's the best or anything like that but I did hear some pretty impressive playing and I did hear some fabulous coordination and collaboration between the guitarists and the drummer. And that is something I enjoyed very much in this as well. So even though I'm new to it all, I can appreciate his skill and his creation here in this song. And I will see you in the next half of this. Don't forget, go on and listen to the next half because I'm going to be diving into all of this music and learning about Eddie Van Halen and the band and all that, all that is there. So click the link, do follow through to the next half and join me as we have some fun discovering things together.